Good morning, this is Kathy from Dirty Booty Soaps, and this morning I'm working on a special order for a friend of mine. Uh, she's on the West Coast and called and wanted some uh, soaps made up, and so what I did was, um, she's got two that she wants to kind of look like honeybee hives, and the rest, uh, the, uh, like a yellow flower with... Uh, a honeybee and a sunflower on and what I've got are these, she liked these, these little Wilton cake decorations. So these are going to go on the top. Um, I, I have, have scented them grapefruit, really nice fresh citrus scent. Um, for the honeybee hives, I've already laid down one little layer of the, it's like a brown, it's mixed with a little bit of gold and purple, it's a, it's a nice shade of brown. So that I've already laid on the top of two of them because they're for boys and I'm not going to glitter those, hopefully none wafts over there. And the rest are going to be yellow flowers with some glitter and the little uh, sunflowers on top. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start typing some of this yellow. And I've got extra molds in case, because I think I'm going to have way too much. but. I'm just going to start with a little dollop in the middle of each of the yellow ones. And I saved y'all watching me blend uh, the soap together because that's pretty much always going to be the same thing. So we're just decorating now. So I kind of go around in a little petal form. on each of these. Kind of just do a little round hoop de doos And it smells so good. I love this grapefruit fragrance. Plus the fact that it doesn't discolor always makes it a good choice. I have a lot of yellow, so I'm thinking I might do these up higher. We'll see. It's like I never know how much to uh, save to do the piping. I imagine with time, I'll, more practice, I'll learn how much to save. So what I'm going to do, like I said, with the with the beehive looking ones, I'm alternating the brown and the yellow. And the brown, I've got just a plain open round tip. And this one I've got the little star tip. So we're going to have a little bit of alternating texture on the beehives. Which I think will look really cool. So I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put some more yellow in here. Um, I'm gonna pipe some more of the brown on the beehive ones. Kind of bring it in a little. And then we'll come back and we'll hit it with some more yellow and just kind of build it up a bit. They're going to be for little boys, like I said, so we don't want them looking too frou-frou-ish. Get this yellow in there. It's pretty thick. Smells so good. My husband loves the citrus fragrances too. Oh boy, I better get you quick before you fall all the way in. Okay, so we'll come. 
come back and we'll we'll go around these flowers again. I think these are going to look really cute. And I don't have these on my website because they are special order. But if any of you really like these, I can make them for you as well. Just remember that all special orders do take four weeks at least. Because they have to cure for four weeks. And then, then I can mail them out to you. But So make sure you give it plenty of time. And once again, our website is, is uh, www dirtybootysoaps.com and I am also on Etsy uh, same name Dirty Booty Soaps on Etsy so now I think I'm going to come back and hit these brown ones up again not, not doing a petal shape but just coming up. Very cute. I've still got a bit of yellow here. So I think we'll, we'll keep going. I think that'll be high enough on the yellow ones. Let's get this video posted so my friend Pat can see her soaps that I'm making her. I think she'll like them. And hopefully her ladies that she's giving these to will like them as well. I'll get the last little bit of yellow soap in here. So be here doing this bag here. I got some uh, fragrances that I ordered yesterday. I um, I ordered um, tea tree because I want to do a, uh, a black uh, activated charcoal soap and I wanted to scent it to uh, tea tree. Let's see, what am I gonna do with this one here? I'll put this one down for now. So I got my tea tree. And I also got from uh, Nature's Garden I got my um, The Perfect Man, Extremely Sexy for Women, and Anjou Pear Blossom. And let me tell you, they all smell wonderful. I'm really excited to, uh, to use the pear one. There's this really nice, fresh scent. And Extremely Sexy for Women. My husband really likes the smell of that one on me. I think I mentioned before. So. <clears throat> so I think, I think we're good here. Um, I have some extra molds here. I think I'm just gonna try and pipe into these, into these flower molds the rest of my soap. Kind of alternate. Just because I don't want to waste the soap.
these are going to be a little textured on the bottoms but that's okay they smell good they'll look good Um, let's see, there's just a little bit of brown left. I wonder if I should just do a little, a little hoop on the top of the beehives. I think that's good. And, uh, just for the heck of it, I'll probably use whatever this turns into. I always hate to waste soap, you know. But anyway. So for the boys, we're not glittering, but I'm going to put a couple little sunflowers, one there, one on each, and same for the, the women's, we'll put a little sunflower here and there on each one. They're so cute. I just love them. They just look like happy, happy soaps. So, get my little bees. And boys, oops. For sakes, bees are flying out of my hands. We'll put a couple bees on theirs. These are the cutest little bumba bees. In there. And one there. And ladies. There on the top, put a little bee. So I made these before, and they were on a melt and pour. Um, they were out of melt and pour, I should say. And they were really cute, um, but they looked a little different. Uh, these are much more like an actual cupcake. They stand up higher. And I, I think they look cuter. I think they're more adorable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Um, So anyway, uh, there's that. And we'll put a little glitter on the, the ones for the ladies. Because, you know, every girl likes glitter. Oh, these are adorable. So like I said, I don't have these on the website, but if you want to special order them, I can make them. Just to keep in mind, it takes four weeks, not to make them, but for them to cure, because they are soap, they need to cure. So, I think those just turned out cool. So we'll give them a little spritz of alcohol. Uh, we'll let those sit before we pop them out. We'll let them sit a day. Um, that's too cute though. Just adorable. And she also ordered um, five of these. Uh, these are my gingerbread man soaps. And they, uh, I use ginger snap fragrance and smell so good. And they have the cutest little, they're white pop piped top and the cute little gingerbread man at the top. And I have uh, have these on my Etsy site now. Um, but just remember dirty booty soaps so if you want to order those and then uh, don't forget now when we get up to 300 followers on YouTube I'm going to give somebody away a bar of our uh, Christmas soap here this one scented with Moroccan mint really nice fragrance and it's got the cute little uh, 
balls on the top and the little chocolate scented candy bar piece. And then this white layer here has the little red jojoba beads. Very cute soap. Um, uh, Anne Marie from Brambleberry liked this bar. She thought it was really cute. And uh, put she put it actually on her uh, uh, Soap Queen page. Uh, a bunch of people had done Christmas soaps and I was one of the pictures she featured on there. So that was really cool. Uh, I always like, you know, when people appreciate, you know, the work you put into something. Um, so that was nice. So anyway, that was it. That was our, our little honeybee sunflower soaps. Let me get this and I'll give you a better view. So cute, huh? Get that in focus. Come on. There we go. Honeybee soaps. And then these are the little beehive. That's my version of a beehive with the alternating kind of brownish purplish. So the bases are all yellow. But how adorable are these? And they smell so good. So good. So anyway, until the next video. Oh, yeah, and here's the here's the fragrances I got in from Nature's Garden, The Perfect Man. Um, extremely sexy for women and then the Anjou pear and I'm really excited to do this Anjou pear one because I like the smell a lot I like it a lot so anyway there you go until our next video um, we'll come and unmold these on the next video so stay tuned probably tomorrow for that and uh, <laughs> hope you all have a wonderful day and just remember, you can get in touch with me if you want to do a special order. Uh, don't be shy. Uh, we're at DirtyBootySoaps.com or Dirty Booty Soaps on Etsy. So there you go. Everybody have a great day. Thanks now. Bye-bye.